Hi there, welcome to Cotswold Energy Group. We're here today to talk about your media controller that comes with your media heat pump. With every media heat pump, you'll get a controller that looks like this. And the purpose of this device is to give you overall control of your heating and your hot water. The system will always be accompanied by a Honeywell Home programmable room thermostat that we'll discuss in a separate video. Once you've unlocked the media controller, you'll be able to see the status of the system by observing the icon that's displayed in the central section of the display screen. In this case, the tap is being displayed, so it's in hot water mode. If you scroll right in this section of the menu, you will highlight the 50 degree symbol, which is the current hot water temperature or the current desired hot water temperature. The unit is designed to maintain the water between 43 and 50 degrees at all times. As you use the water, the heat pump will constantly top up the cylinder. The hot water cylinder has priority over the heating if the cylinder temperature falls 5 degrees below its set point, the unit will automatically switch to heating the cylinder. This should take less than one hour. We will always leave your system set to heat your cylinder to a maximum of 50 degrees. If you would like to alter the temperature of your cylinder, highlight the temperature symbol and press up or down to alter the desired maximum set temperature and press OK to select that change. The display will then revert back to the current cylinder temperature. If we want to check the status of the system again, we can see here that it's currently in hot water mode because of the tap symbol. And if we increase the desired temperature on our programmable room thermostat, we will see that the system will revert to heating mode, which will be displayed by a sun symbol in the same section. If your system is in heating mode, you will see a sun symbol displayed in the central section of the menu here. On the left hand side you will see the current flow temperature that the system will produce which is based on an external temperature reading. So the warmer it gets outside the lower that value will be and vice versa. If you want to you can change this but we recommend that you leave it at the factory setting of weather compensation and let it manage itself. On your media controller there are three sections to your display screen. On the right hand side we can see the desired hot water temperature which is currently 50 degrees. In the middle section we can see that there's a tap displayed which means that the system is currently in hot water mode so if somebody runs a tap and cools down the cylinder the heat pump will kick in and heat it back up to the desired temperature. On the left hand side we can see the current heating flow temperature in the eventuality that the programmable room thermostat signals for the system to heat the property. Your Honeywell programmable room thermostat is made up of two components. The first one is the receiver which receives a signal from the room thermostat and tells the system to come on or turn off. We can see here that this LED is illuminated, which means that there is a link established between this component and the room thermostat. This button here is an override or a status indicator. If your heating is not working, the first thing to do is to come to this button and press it, which will manually override any settings on the room thermostat or override the fact that transmission may have been lost between this and the room thermostat. At the same time, if you haven't pressed this button and it is illuminated, it means that the room thermostat has sent this device a signal to turn the heating system on. This is your programmable room thermostat, which allows you to set the time and temperature for your heating system's operation. There are two overall modes for this. One is auto, where you set a time program and related temperatures for each section of the time program. This particular thermostat is currently set in auto mode, so a program has been set up, but we can change it to manual mode by pressing the center button. We'll see that change to MAN there, which now means that it will ignore any time programs and will only measure the current room temperature and turn the system on or off, depending on whether or not the desired room temperature has been achieved or not. So for example, we have this top number, which is the desired room temperature, and then below it we have the current room temperature. So the heating system will now kick in until 
the temperature in this room reaches 24 degrees and it will maintain a temperature of 24 degrees until we either turn it down or set the system back to auto mode which I will now do. In auto mode we can set time and temperatures for the heating system. On this particular system we can see at this point in time we have a desired temperature of 16 degrees and an actual room temperature of 22 degrees. So if we press this right hand button we can go into the program mode or we can start making alterations to these settings. So if we press tick by the calendar symbol we'll now enter the Monday to Friday section of the programming menu. We'll press tick to enter that and we can now see P1 or program 1 is flashing and the display is showing us what program 1 is. So in this instance it means that the heating system is turning on at 6.30 in the morning and will heat the property or the room in which this unit is sited to 21 degrees and then it will turn off again at 8 o'clock in the morning. If we accept that and press tick and go to P2, then we can see that at 8 o'clock in the morning the desired temperature is going to drop down to 16 degrees until 6 o'clock in the evening. If we want to change any of these settings, we press tick again until you see any one of the values flashing and you can then press up or down to make changes. So if we wanted to, we could raise this up to 21 degrees and the system would then be maintained at 21 degrees between 8 in the morning and 6 o'clock in the evening. This method applies to all four program modes. Generally speaking we leave it set at something like 6 in the morning to 8 in the morning, 21 degrees, 16 degrees from then until say 4 o'clock in the afternoon and then 21 degrees from 4 o'clock in the afternoon to roughly 10 o'clock at night and then from 10 o'clock at night to 6 in the morning back down to 16 degrees. If you want to go back to the main screen at any point just press the home button and any changes that you've made will be saved but you'll be back in the main screen where you can see the desired temperature and the current room temperature and the system status. With your media system we will fit a time guard programmer that controls your immersion heater. The purpose of this is to provide Legionella protection to your hot water system as your heat pump will only heat your cylinder to 55 degrees. We therefore need to heat the cylinder every seven days to 70 degrees in order to protect against Legionella. This programmer governs that function and we will have set it accordingly upon commissioning and we advise that you leave the settings as they were at the point of commissioning.